How's it going? I'm Jared Gillis. Welcome to another All About RVs. Today, I'm going to give you the top places to be able to escape winter. It always seems around this time of year, I just want to walk away from winter, load up in the RV, and drive to an early spring. You can actually do that. The dreams of watching a warm sunrise on the horizon or see the steam rising off the thawing river with the sunlight pouring through the trees after a morning rain, even in the middle of winter, these places do exist. I know a little over dramatic, but those with spring fever were about two seconds away from going into a spring fever daydream. So today I'm going to give you the top places that we have been to to enjoy spring early. Now, as we dive into this list, you might be thinking this is a little late in the game to be trying to make reservations in warmer climates throughout the country, but you might be surprised using an app like Spot Tonight or some of those other apps where you can look and see what is available at this current time is very valuable. And also don't underestimate that there are cancellations. People's plans do change and things do open up. So making those phone calls and finding places to open up. And some of these things on the list are going to be boondocking. So you don't even need a, a reservation to get out and use some of these places. So some of this is still available. Sometimes you just have to dig in there and look for something that would work for you. So let's start off the list. We're gonna start with one of the biggest boondocking areas in the country, and that's Quartzsite. Quartzsite's a really popular place to go for rallies and is one of the largest gatherings of RVers every year. You can catch the RV show down there that has taken advantage of the amount of RVers that come to this area every winter. The good thing about Quartzsite is it has a huge area for people to spread out. The desert stretches out for miles, so you should be able to definitely find a spot here. While you could say there's a plethora of areas to be able to go boondocking in there, if you wanted to get outside of that fray, you could go an hour or two outside of that and find your own little slice of desert. If you didn't want to go quite so far out into the desert and you wanted a few more resources around, you could go to Lost Dutchman State Park. It's a beautiful state park with lots of scenery and lots of hikes to do in that area. It's hard to get tired of the beautiful sunsets in Arizona. You could also head farther south, closer to Tucson, like Picacho Peak or Saguaro National Park. Down in the desert, you can find some beautiful areas that are far from the cold. One year we were just getting hit snowstorm after snowstorm and it just felt like cold on cold. So one of our favorite places that we kind of escaped to was Palm Springs. A couple of my favorite things here were hiking a slot canyon called Ladder Canyon and walking around a nearby oasis. I felt like I had just come out of hibernation. It had been so refreshing to be in the desert. Usually I don't think of the desert as feeling refreshing, but it was, it was definitely refreshing. But we are addicted to the coast, so no list would be complete without talking about Southern California near the coast. We were never too worried about trying to stay right on the coast. We stayed at a county park a few times and we would just drive into the things we wanted to do, whether it was Old Town San Diego or enjoying an evening at the beach. Just thinking about being able to stay outside and enjoy an evening felt like a new perspective on life. Now, while the West definitely has more boondocking, there are things as we move East. So Texas is a great place. You can go down to the Gulf. You can enjoy that area. We really like anything South of San Antonio, even San Antonio itself. You can get that feeling of spring early. You can walk around the missions there, see the history in that area. You can even do that river walk. The river walk is a really beautiful area. The waterway is very scenic, the bridges passing over, the tour boats going through. It's a fun afternoon to enjoy the weather along the river walk. You can still get storms that push the cold down this far, but not a bad spot for an early spring. The southern reaches of Texas down to Padre Island is understandably a popular area. But our absolute favorite and top on our list is even further south and east is the great state of Florida. It is busy and popular, but such a large area you can still find places to stay and cancellations, they do happen, like I said. It might be hard to get in the state parks, but there are so many RV parks we've been able to find availability. It's nice to see a little bit of green in the trees, the trees dripping with the Spanish moss. It's a nice change from the snowpack in the north. Heading way south, you can even enjoy the water, snorkeling, or you can do an airboat tour, which can be thrilling. Ours was a little boring, but some of them can be really thrilling. You can see a ton of wildlife. One of our favorite areas is near the Mayaka River for the great beaches to choose from, where you can trade the snow for white sand beaches or look for shells and shark teeth. 
you really have a pick of some of my favorite beaches from Siesta Key in the north all the way down to Minnesota Key. For us, it's pretty hard to have a bad day at the beach. There are some great places on the east side of the state, but one that stands out is St. Augustine, Florida. St. Augustine is a great place if you're looking for a taste of history or some of the shops to walk in. It's a beautiful city. I think it's the oldest city in the U.S. It has a lot of beautiful architecture. Also in Florida, we love the Springs area. This is the area from Silver Springs over to Crystal River and Homosassa Springs. It has beautiful clear water and there's, there's even the opportunity to get in or on the water to get out there and see some manatees. The manatees are coming in because they're enjoying the, the warmer water in that area too and so they come to the springs for that. It's hard to talk about Florida without mentioning Orlando. Orlando is such a large area for RV parks. Even if you don't want to pay to go to Disney, you can still get a taste of it. It is free to go to Disney Springs and take the transportation, the buses, the boats. You can ride the Skyliner to the different areas to walk. You could literally spend days on the outside of the Disney parks just doing the free things. So this list could really go on and on. There's lots of places to get out and enjoy some warmer weather where you can trade in using your heater in the RV or in your home and be able to open up some windows and get some fresh air. So we, we love being able to do that, especially this time of year. And this is some of the top places that are out there that you can actually do that. So I think that's gonna do it for today. I hope you guys enjoy this list. I hope that it helps you out. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you have gone somewhere else that you have kind of escaped winter or gotten in early spring by going somewhere south or somewhere a little bit warmer, put that down in the comments and share it with other people. So like I said, that's gonna do it for today. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos about RVing, hit that subscribe button. And if we don't see you on the road, hopefully we will see you next video.